this is Holly Russell, second grade teacher from Paradise Canyon Elementary. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use base 10 blocks as part of the everyday math program and also how students can use base 10 shorthand when they don't have the physical models in front of them. To, so to start, over here on the left, the largest blocks that I have are hundreds. In the center, we have a block that represents the tens. And on the right, the smallest block represents ones. Now, in our everyday math program, we call these hundred blocks flats. Groups of tens are called longs. And our ones are called cubes. Now as students begin to be more skillful in setting up the base 10 blocks to represent numbers, it actually becomes time consuming. So we also teach shorthand for these blocks. The hundreds are simply represented with a square. Longs or tens are represented with a single line, similar to a tally mark. And ones or cubes, a dot, and sometimes students will draw an X. Now I want to show you how to actually take a number, I've got a three digit number here, 436, and show you how to represent it in base 10 shorthand. I know 436 has four groups of 100, so I'm drawing four flats. It has three groups of 10 and six ones. I also wanted to show you how smaller blocks can be changed into a larger block. So the 10 cubes on the left are equivalent to one long or one group of 10. When a student is trying to represent that in their work, they can simply show the 10 ones that they have and they can make a trade for one group of 10. This will come in handy later when we are working on regrouping in addition. It's also the case with 10 groups of 10 is equivalent to one group of 100. So a student could take those smaller blocks and replace them with one flat or one group of 100. In subtraction, and this is going to come in handy in a later video when I talk about expand and trade subtraction, students will sometimes need to work the other direction and break a larger block into smaller ones. Knowing that one group of 10 is the same as 10 cubes, they can simply take that 10 and trade it for 10 ones or 10 cubes. And finally, same idea, one group of 100 is the same as 10 groups of 10. So in base 10 shorthand, a student could take one flat and replace it with 10 groups of 10. You'll want to check this video out before going on to expand and trade subtraction. Thanks for watching.